Hey yo, this is another video, so let's go. All right, I'm in the, I'm at the Throw Bridge Archaeological Site, uh, you know, Indian mounds, uh, pretty much. Uh, so the thing I'm doing is, is I, uh, I already did what I had to do here. I'm just calling, coming back and uh, giving you a visual of what everything uh, looks like. So this is what it would be like here. The Indian mound is like this, okay? This is the slope itself. It slopes down. So you're looking at it, and it goes right into the trees. That's the uh, the Indian Mound going down itself. But if you see it, looking up, this is where the Indian Mound is, the tip top of it. So you can, as you can see, this is somebody's yard. So I didn't want to get no trespassing or whatever, charge or whatever. So I just stayed across the street, but it's still a part of the mound. See how they made the road and cut off the mound, cut into the mound just to uh, make it go even further down or make the people drive and live on, on these houses. So my ancestors, they, you're supposed to have the mounds up to a point where people can get to them. It's like the same thing out in Jacksonville, Florida. They got one way out there by the water out there in Jacksonville, Florida. It's, a, it's an Indian mound out there. It's unlabeled. But you look on your Google map, you'll find it. I went to it like a few years ago. But yeah, uh, you can check, you can see, but like, as you can see, it goes in a slope downward, down, the, down this hill. Down the hill, it's like somebody cut this grass like two days ago, and I'm, I'm, kind of, you know, it don't. Regardless, it was still mosquitoes here. It would, it would tear my legs up, but <laughs> it would tear my legs up, man. But at the same time, I didn't. I finished. I finished whatever I had to do here, you know, and still came back. When I came over here, it was just cat. So that's how I know the ancestors is here. Very, very, uh, very, um, they very, uh, they know. When people are coming here to do what they're supposed to be doing, the cat ran over here. There's a gray and black cat ran over here and laid down. Like you see the, the two uh, the cats in front of the, uh, like in the, um, uh, what do you see? Let me see. The Sphinx. That's what it is. The cat laid down like in the Sphinx. So you, that's why they were, it was, it's, the, the Sphinx is uh, Sekhmet. Sekhmet um, is, is a lion. The lioness segment, uh, and she's half human and half cat. So that's why they would do like certain de uh, deities that way, half animal and half people. Just so they took on those traits. But the trait, the lion's supposed to rise, just like you rise up your spine uh, on the Kabbalah uh, in, or in Nordic mythology, and you reach Doth. Doth is where the, the most melanin is in the back of your neck. So when she rises, that's when the most power is uh, is coming from or exudes from a, a highly melanated so-called black people. So it's not a lot to show, but like it's a whole neighborhood put on top of this mound. But it goes even further back where all these bushes and trees are right here. But the thing is, I didn't want to take it back there. I, just, I stayed right here and did finish whatever I needed to finish. And you see, as you see, this was a tree right here, too. So and it's it's cut into, cut down, and also so. I just want to uh, show reverence and and say say what up to my ancestors and did I did what I did, and um, and things is popping, man. The energy is coming. So ancestors say, don't keep going, my nigga. We love you. I love my ancestors too. Corner zone three three three. I shave.